at that. <laughs> Spot on. A jointer made out of an electric plane. <laughs> Just the job. Like I say, now what I need is uh, a switch affair. And uh, jobs are good. I've got uh, a couple of electric planers. This is uh, the oldest one I've got. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can make some kind of contraption so that I can use this as a jointer. So what's the advantages of having a jointer? Well, as you know, a jointing machine, quite expensive machines normally, I've got like a nice 90 degree fence up there and you stick your wood, you put your bit of wood, it goes straight across there and you can get perfect 90 degree angle, a nice flat edge on a piece of wood. So it would be nice to see if we can use this um, this planer, which to be frank is not in the best of nick, it's not the sharpest of things, and see if we can make it into something that's actually a you know quite a useful and valuable tool. So step one, um, these planes have got uh, just a little double-sided blade in there. So I've uh, I've turned them round, so I've got a nice new sharp edge. Uh, so all being well, it should cut nicely. Things now then, I've got some off-cut bits of uh, plywood. Um, now it is my idea that these nice flat surfaces here. Um, I can draw around them, cut it out and make something that that will sit into, like so. Um, then uh, the next stage is to make a table that will fit on top of here that I can bring off the top of these bits once I've got the, the plane mounted. So job number one is to mark around these. Okay so I've lined this up, I've got the there's a nice flat edge on the back here that I'm going to use, so I've got that nice and uh, parallel and then marked around it with a pencil to give me the shape of uh, what I want to cut out. I'll do a similar thing, on, I've got another piece here that's the same, so that they are uh, similar grooves and the thing will be suspended hopefully nice and level. Uh, Taking a good amount of time to make a, a nice neat job of cutting these out uh, using a jigsaw so let's see how they fit nice and tight going all the way up that's just spot on so the theory is you need our copy shape on there that that should give me a nice flat well, level base to start with. Start thinking about gluing a piece of wood to give me like a box structure. Then the plan is, is obviously I'll need some kind of table on the top here but I'll have it supported off of here so I can have some struts coming down, get it perfectly level, screw the whole thing together and it stays level. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. Progress then. I've, uh, I've cut this piece here, it's a bit of floorboarding. Um, I've planed it to 85mm wide. So that bit of uh, pine here, there, can be glued in place and that gives me like a nice box frame for the plane to sit in. Okay, I'll get on that and we'll move on. So here we go, this is uh, the, the cradle for the uh, planer made, glued together, that simple. It's a nice tight fit, it fits in <coughs> rather well. Yep. So now, <coughs> I've got a piece of 18mm uh, MDF which is nicely just below, which allows me to um, make a bed that is flush with the top of the plane. So, job number one. Um, I'm going to 
mark out the base of the planer and cut it out of here. So, onwards. Come straight off the front and draw around the motor section. So that it all will fit through. Okay, I can now cut that out with my jigsaw and hopefully get uh, a nice fit. We'll go from there. Okay, so. Uh, I've cut the shape out of the uh, piece of MDF, so let's just uh, see if it goes together. Clean, fits nice and solid in there, and top fits nice on there. Now, what I need to do is I need to get that absolutely perfectly level with the top of there. Okay, so what I've done to get the level of the bed is I've got some nice straight pieces of wood which I've clamped on top of the MDF bed surface so that they rest onto the bed of the planer. Therefore, everything's got to be nice and level. Next job is underneath here I can screw and glue some uh, pieces that screw into the side of the, the uh, cradle and up into the bed of uh, the top thus giving me a nice flat level surface. I've uh, piloted and countersunk some holes in the top for screws just so I can have some uh, uh, chops of wood underneath. I'm not going to glue these in position because in future if I want to be able to alter the the height if something moves or what have you, uh, I can do if it's just screwed together. So uh, that's the plan. To start with I'll just clamp this in position. I've already done the other side. Okay, so they're nicely below the surface and they're not going to get in the way. Lovely, now we can raise it up to the uh, height that we want and just screw it in place. Okay, so I've got my blocks here screwed in from the top. Uh, I'm now just going to put a screw through each one into the, into the cradle um, just to hold it in position. Everything's clamped across the top here to keep everything nice and straight and level with the bed of the planer. So, okay, now once I mount this back into the cradle, uh, I'm not going to be able to reach in and switch it on, so I'm going to have to lock this off so that it's permanently switched on. Not the perfect solution, but what I shall do if this all works out, as well, I'm testing it, I'm not that bothered. Uh, if it all works out, what I shall do is I shall mount a, a switch on the side of the cradle uh, where I can switch it on and off so I don't have to use the. Uh, let's get that all nice and level. 
And there we go. Oh, it's that easy. I like that. I've got a cradle that I can mount in a vise so everything's nice and solid. Uh, the next thing is a fence because the, 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 the thing about a jointer is is that you can get a piece of wood that's got a, a sloping edge on it, stick it across the jointer and get a 90 degree edge. So the fence is important, it's got to be, it's got to give you that 90 degree angle. Now then this is um, <coughs> a piece of 3 by 2 planed all around. And I've double checked it that it is absolutely bang on 90 and when I check it against um, the bed of the planer it's a perfect 90 degrees, check it against the bed of the, the, the extension bed and it's an absolute perfect 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp that down, I'm going to use that as my fence and uh, give it a try, we'll see how it works. Everything works as it should. Future developments, I'm going to have to make a guard to go over here because for obvious reasons you don't want your fingers to get caught. Just so you can see, absolutely perfect. Look at that, spot on. A jointer made out of an electric plane. <laughs> Just the job. Like I say, now what I need is uh, a switch affair. And uh, jobs are good.